Hey guys, today I've done a tiny little tutorial just on cheekbones. So it's quite random, but I really wanted to do it because I am very pernickety about cheekbones. A few of my favorite makeup artists are incredible at making women look like they've got these real deep set cut crease cheekbones. A lot like Kim Kardashian. You might have noticed that Kim Kardashian has these real cut crease cheekbones. And personally, I don't have any cheekbones. My face is quite round. So I love this because it makes me look like I have cheekbones. So Keep on watching if you want to see how I do my cheekbones like this. Okay, so the colour I usually use for my cheek contour is this one here. This is Strata by MAC and sadly it has been discontinued but as far as I'm aware, Harmony is very, very similar to that colour. So if you want that and you can't get it, get Harmony instead, both from MAC. What I do is I take it on an angled blush brush. This one's quite fluffy and it's from Lime Lily Cosmetics. And what I do is I literally just hold it under my cheekbone and sweep it up and away. So that's going to give you a real soft contour to the cheeks because the brush is very soft and fluffy so it's not going to be anything too harsh or too precise. I'm going to blend it up a little bit into my temple so it looks quite seamless and soft. And you can see I've already done my contouring up here. So that's my contour done. This is where the real trick is. I use this colour here. This is the most versatile colour of life. It's also on my eyelids and my nose for my nose contour. Anyway, this is Wheat by Bobbi Brown. And I'm taking that on a small angled contour brush from MAC. It's the 168. And what I'm going to do is use the edge of this in a little bit of this. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to just hold it underneath my cheekbone here. So I want to make this area here appear very deep and quite far back set. So this can all be nice and soft and then you just want to have one little bit in here that looks deeper than the rest because that's going to give the illusion of real deep high set cheekbones. So I'm just going to hold it under there and then gently wiggle it backwards and forwards like that. And that's the only place I'm going to apply it. So you can see on an angle it looks like I have real cheekbones. You can then go back in with a clean blending brush if you want to and blend it out a little bit more so it gives a softer appearance. But as you guys know, I prefer something a little bit more dramatic. I don't mind that real contoured look, so I'm going to leave mine like that because I don't actually have any cheekbones and I want to make it look like I do. But again, always know that you guys can adapt to what I do to suit you. Then what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of blush. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. This one is Blush Baby from MAC on my hair and makeup addiction brush. This one is called the Blusher. That was a tongue twister. So where you want to apply your blush is directly here onto the apple of the cheek and then blend it up and away to nothing. As you can see, I should have mentioned that at the start actually, I do have a highlight on already so I've applied my liquid Face of Australia Illuminator onto my cheekbone and a little bit onto my temple. So you can do that too if you want to. So I'm just going to apply my blush. And then if you really want that cut crease cheekbone that, for example, Kim Kardashian has, you get a little bit of your foundation or concealer. I'd recommend just the same foundation that you used for the rest of your face on a sponge or brush or something that you're going to have a lot of control over. And you're just going to dab a little bit of it directly underneath that cheekbone that we've created. And that's just going to make it appear even more defined. So that's the finished little tutorial of cheekbones. I hope that you guys found it helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments in the comment box down below. I do have a blog post on this entire makeup look that I'm wearing. So check in the description box down below for my website. I do also have Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter and the blog. So they will also be in the description box down below. Check them out if you want to. Give this video a like if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to me. And I love you guys and I'll see you next time.